What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out Cody versus Brock three, the supposed date for that match. Spoiler for Roman Reigns. Bad news for Lacey Ev uh, Evans, WWE and AEW collab, and wrestling news, man. Uh, this is by WrestleMania, as I already know. So appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel. If my voice sounds a little bit different, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Have me a, a piece of uh, Jolly Rancher candy. It's some of my favorite candy, man. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So if I sound a little bit different, man, I wasn't about to throw this Jolly Rancher out. It's 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 here to stay. <laughs> so we're gonna get right into this one. I don't even have my headphones on, man. I'm I'm wilding right now. All right, let's get right into this one, man. Appreciate all love and support. And uh, actually, before we start the video, comment down below. Down below, what's your favorite candy to eat? Doesn't matter. It's no right or wrong answer. Just let me know what's your favorite candy to eat. Mine's Jolly Ranchers and Starburst. So. As it is Wrestlemania oh here, God, back so with loud. some I'm more so news. Sorry, Join us now as we look at the wildest new stories and rumors you need Let's to know, including so when Cody vs. Brock Part 3 is happening. WWE turned down a big request from Cody Rhodes. Mm. Spoiler on Roman Reigns' plans. Sergeant Slaughter's daughter blasts Lacey Evans. Oh, also whoa. some bad news for Lacey Evans. Has Drew McIntyre become a U.S. citizen and much more? Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily for wrestling sure, videos sure. and Brad follow us on Facebook you haven't already. for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. And now let's hit the intro and get straight into our first story. The first story looks at the summer showdown in the works. And with summer almost here, both mm -hmm. AEW and WWE are getting ready for some major matches to headline its upcoming pay-per-views and PLEs. First, a big update on Cody vs. Brock Part 3. It's time for a major update on the Cody Rhodes vs. Brock Lesnar feud and when the two will throw down again. Dave Meltzer recently reported on the Wrestling Observer Radio that the WWE intends to book the rematch for SummerSlam. This makes sense as SummerSlam mm. is one of the biggest shows of the year, and while Money in the Bank would be a good venue, they seem to see more value in having it at a stadium show. Well, I mean, they're going with the storyline that he broke his arm. So it would only have to be SummerSlam. You're not going to have Cody come out there with a semi-broke, semi-healed arm to wrestle Brock again. Uh, Money in Bank is, I believe, at the end of this month. Or is it at the beginning uh yeah i think it's at the beginning of july i believe so um so uh actually i can check i don't know why i'd be it's like google is a thing i'm gonna check this right now honey in the bank 2023 that okay yeah it's at the beginning of july i thought so so storyline wise it would have to be SummerSlam to have cody healed up and that way he can face brock which means Roman's holding the title until next year's WrestleMania. Good God. There's going to be some interesting stories, maybe because I'm sure they're going to play up some stuff with the bloodline situation, but Jesus. He's not losing that title to WrestleMania next year. That's crazy. Next up, <laughs> WWE turned down Cody Rhodes' That's request. crazy. Speaking of the American Nightmare, Big Time Wrestling is reporting that WWE nicks Cody's request for a bull rope match. It's unknown who mm. Cody wanted to work the match against, but the Texas Bull Rope match was Dusty Rhodes' speciality match, and mm -hmm. Cody has carried on the tradition in other promotions. A Bull Rope match against Lesnar could be a good way to end the Cody vs. Brock program, as it doesn't require a pinfall, thus saving Brock from having to count the lights twice in three matches. Yeah, this is and true. And it also has plenty of potential for violence. Next up, the hard. I'm all for that. That that would be something cool. I would be down for that, but. Since like they they nixed it, maybe Brock's not wanting to do that type of match. I don't know, but whatever match the third one is gonna be, it's gonna be stipulated. Like there's gonna be a stipulation involved. The question is, which stipulation will it be? Hardest working champion in WWE. It looks like recently crowned World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins is living up to his promise to be an active champion. The visionary defended the belt at last Saturday's WWE live event in Westchester County Center in White mm, Plains, New okay. York. Wrestling News' Andrew Ravens noted that Rollins defeated The Miz, but Rollins is scheduled to put the belt on the line mm -hmm. tonight on Raw against the Judgment Day's Damian Priest. They seem to be all in on using Rollins to provide the WWE Universe with frequent title defenses on TV and at live events. What do you guys think of Seth Reigns so far? Next up, well, here's the thing about that. I don't 
I don't have a problem with the title being defended. Especially uh, a main title like that. But at the same time, it still comes off as the secondary main title. Um, it doesn't come off like the, the the top title. It doesn't. And they're doing this all oh, was being defended. So this automatically makes it, you know, that much better than Roman Reigns Universal Undisputed Championship. It doesn't. It doesn't. So the question becomes, depending, I don't want him to be defending the title every week or even every other week. I think it should be special moments, selective moments. I don't have a problem with him defending it on a Monday Night Raw. You know, if it's built up right, I'm okay with that. But it should be special moments when it's defended because you can overdo it. You can oversaturate your champion. So I think just having it happen in certain special situations, I'm all for it. You know, maybe have someone become a number one contender and then you have them face Rollins on a on a uh, a built up Monday Night Raw. So those are things you can do. But I am looking forward to what they do with Damian Priest here. I think this is going to be a very interesting matchup. Damian Priest has really started to come into his own in Judgment Day. So Damian Priest versus Seth Rollins for the title could be a very good interesting matchup has the wwe selected roman reigns as next opponent and what of roman reigns the wwe superstar whose undisputed championship defenses seem to have gone from once a month to once every season <laughs> we talked that reigns is going to team with solo sokoa to battle the usos at money in the bank it looks like reigns will mm -hmm. go another ple without defending the belt okay however dave Meltzer recently speculated that the wwe is dropping hints about roman's next opponent someone very close to him and right now the only family member supporting him Meltzer speculating on the Wrestling Observer Radio that mm. Roman vs. Solo is imminent. You know that's mm. happening down the line too. It's unknown when the WWE wants to go with Solo vs. Roman, but it's possible that Solo could turn a Roman as early as Money in the Bank, especially if a hypothetical Usos vs. Solo Roman match leads to another defeat for Solo and Roman. The WWE reportedly wants to book a Roman Reigns title defense at SummerSlam, but whether Roman battles Solo or someone else is just oh. one question in the ongoing Roman Reigns and Bloodline saga. We talk that Reigns could head into WrestleMania 40 as undisputed champion, there's just no telling what direction the WWE intends to go with the Bloodline. Some fans think the Bloodline is going to continue crumbling, while other fans believe Roman will reforge it with new members into an even greater group. Next no, I don't think he needs to add new members because that just kind of defeats the purpose. Every story has to have his ending and we're getting to the end of this bloodline saga. That is very interesting because it really comes down to spacing out these feuds all the way to next year's WrestleMania. Would Solo be a good match? Matchup? I wouldn't have a problem with it, but I think that's a little bit too soon. I think that's a little bit too soon. I think you do that Maybe right before WrestleMania season. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you can do that then. I just think it's a little bit too soon. But this all depends on what's happening at Money in the Bank, which is looking like it's going to be the Usos versus Roman and Solo, which I think that's going to be a fun match. Very story-driven. Looking forward to that. But whatever happens in that match is going to be the catalyst for SummerSlam. So if they are going with Solo, would I trip? No. I think that would be interesting. I think it's going to be very entertaining, I, and I am really looking forward to seeing if that does happen. The question is, if you do that match so soon, where do you go? Do you have Jay do it? Do you have Jimmy do it? I don't know, but it's very interesting to see, but um, we, I don't have a problem with them having a match at some point. For the title, I think I think a lot of people are expecting that. So a major match signed for Forbidden Door 2. The fans of Kenny Omega and New Japan Pro Wrestling star Will Ospreay will likely be happy to know that the two are now officially booked to battle at Forbidden Door 2 on 25th June. Wrestling News' Andrew Ravens is reporting that Ospreay will challenge Omega for the New Japan's IWGP United States Championship. At Sunday's New Japan Pro Wrestling Dominion, Will Ospreay defeated Lance Archer in the finals of the IWGP US Title Number 1 Contenders Tournament to earn a shot at Omega's title at the upcoming event on June 25th. This isn't the first time Omega and Ospreay have faced off, but it's something to look forward to as both men are considered two of the top workers in the world. The two tumblers last battle at Wrestle Kingdom last January, and this could be a marquee match. Next up, who is CM Punk working with in a- I know a lot of people are going to be very excited about that, so.
AEW. Now that AEW has confirmed CM Punk's return for the 17th June debut of its new show Collision, fans are curious who Punk will work with. Initial reports suggested AEW was trying to patch things up between Punk and Chris Jericho to work a program. However, several sources have hinted at AEW revisiting the legendary Ring of Honor program between Punk and Samoa Joe. There's also talk that Punk is considering a feud with Jay White, with White's Bullet Club Gold teammate being involved as well. Next up, Sergeant Slaughter's daughter, Blast Lacey. I, 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 I definitely prefer Samoa Joe, man, because I just feel like Samoa Joe, he's not being, it's, he's not being utilized as often as he, you know, should be uh, in AEW. Um, so yeah, I'm going with Samoa Joe. Put him with a feud, CM Punk, Samoa Joe. There we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm set. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Evans. Have you seen SmackDown superstar Lacey Evans' new look? Lacey, a retired Marine Corps military police officer, is playing homage to WWE Hall of Famer Sergeant Slaughter by wearing a Marine cover and camouflage outfit. Mm -hmm. However, one person isn't digging Lacey Evans' new look. Sergeant Slaughter's daughter tweeted, No, this is not okay. Tagging in WWE. Who the F does Lacey Evans think she is? There's only one Sergeant Slaughter, there's only one Slaughter daughter, and she's just a poser. Evans fired back saying, you're daddy's biggest fan, a United States Marine, and a Banham effer. You know who I am, and you know where to find me. A Slaughter himself weighed in on things, warning Evans, look out Lacey Evans, you've got Sergeant Slaughter's daughter pissed. She's one tough mf -er. I know Jarhead, I trained her, and like me, she takes no prisoners. There's only two ways out of the camp, Slaughter. You're on your feet, or you're in a ditty bag, an itty bitty ditty bag. A Lacey replied that she's ready. Between your hips and her ability, the chances of anyone in your bloodline to put me in a bag is zero. When you birth someone who you can carry on your legacy or take me out, call me. Damn. Until then, salute me like the real Marine I am. Now, Damn. according to Wrestle votes, adding to the Lacey Evans Sergeant Slaughter story, back in January, WWE asked Sarge to appear in the Lacey Return vignette where he would teach him pass down the Cobra Clutch. A slaughter adamantly denied any involvement. Oh, wow. So it looks like the daughter's comments kind of make some sense now. Oh. Then again, Lacey Evans is actually an ex-Marine. So yeah. shouldn't she be allowed to use a gimmick? Let us know in the comments down. Uh, and that's the that's a very interesting thing. So maybe the, behind the scenes, obviously there were some things that uh, Sergeant Slaughter wasn't trying to do for Lacey Evans. And she still would, went with the kind of the tribute. But uh, his daughter was not feeling it or whatnot. We don't really know. How good uh, their relationship, WWE and Sergeant Slaughter's relationship is now. So I don't know. But at the same time, I mean, she is a former Marine. So it's like, I don't, I, I wouldn't have gotten as mad at it. I'll just be honest with you. I wouldn't have gotten as mad at it. You know what I'm saying? I think she's just paying homage. But once again, I don't really know how well WWE's relationship with Sergeant Slaughter is. So there may be some other stuff. And the reason why his daughter was like, hey, yo, what is this? This is off my screen. Below. Next up, WWE and AEW wrestlers collab. And while it's highly unlikely that WWE and AEW fans will ever see the two promotions work together, nope. wrestling fans will be able to see Roman Reigns and Malachi Black working together in the near future. Mm. Inside News reports, it was recently pointed out on Twitter that Roman Reigns and former WWE superstar Malachi Black are set to appear together in the movie named Action Force The Divide. Mm. The movie's IMDb page revealed that the film is currently in pre-production. There were rumors circulating earlier this year that Roman would be taking time off after the summer to appear in the film. With the film in pre-production, there's no telling when it will be begin shooting, but wrestling fans will likely enjoy seeing both men on the silver screen, especially if they interact. Oh, well, <laughs> well, that's how they're going to extend the feud, because Roman's going to be gone for a while. <laughs> we're not going to see the title for a while, unless they pull the biggest swerve in <laughs> one of the biggest swerves in WWE history. Have Solo win if they were to have a match, Roman and Solo for the title. Have Solo win <laughs> at SummerSlam. Mine would be blown. <laughs> Next up, bad news for Lacey Evans. Sadly, Lacey Evans' current online spat with Sergeant Slaughter and his daughter may be the most publicity she'll have, as Dave Meltzer is reporting that WWE doesn't seem to have much planned for her. Meltzer commented on the Wrestling Observer Radio that Evans is still not getting a push in WWE. Damn. Evans recently dropped a Money in the Bank qualifier match to Selena Vega on SmackDown. They've repackaged her several times, but as anyone who's followed her career will tell you, the WWE hasn't given Evans any type of push or even given her much TV time to try and get her over with her new gimmicks. Next up, Drew Mc I think one of her bigger pushes was, I think she was like, 
I don't know if she was like trying to like she was like flirting with Ric Flair. So I think she was feuding with Charlotte at the time. So she was like flirting with Ric Flair or something like that. You guys remember what I'm talking about. I think that was one of her bigger pushes, but outside of that, I don't know what you do with Lacey Evans. I, I really don't. I don't know. That's a that's a very interesting one. <laughs> I don't know how you get her over on television. I ain't gonna lie. McIntyre becoming a US citizen. A PW Insider reports that Drew McIntyre completed the process to become a naturalized American citizen. Okay. Drew reportedly has been working on this while he's been out of action on WWE TV. His current future in WWE remains unknown as he's believed he and WWE have not reached an agreement about extending his current deal with the company. Uh -oh. Rumor has it that McIntyre's deal extends to the end of the year and that WWE will likely add time on due to Drew being unable to wrestle due to an injury. Mm. And finally, a daughter of a wrestling legend working in Ring of Honor. Last but not least, is daughter of legendary wrestler Rowdy Roddy Piper working in Ring of Honor? Well, Wrestling News noted a tweet from fan Jacob Cohen who attended the recent 4th June Ring of Honor taping. The tweet reports that Roddy's daughter Teal was at the event. There's no word on what's next for Teal Piper in Ring of Honor and whether there's any plans for her to work in AEW. Mm. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories in Very interesting, very interesting, a lot of interesting news and reports and speculation. Um, I think the most noticeable one is what's going to happen uh, with Roman Reigns at uh, this year's SummerSlam, who is going to face. Also, what's going to be the third stipulation match uh, for Brock and Cody? We know it's going to be some type of stipulation. It's not going to be a regular wrestling match. The question is, what it's going to be? So, y'all comment down below. Let me know who you guys think. Uh, who do you guys think? Roman will face at this year's SummerSlam. What will be that third potential uh, match between Brock and Cody? Who do you guys think CM Punk should work with as um, when he returns to AEW television on their new show, AEW Collision? Let me know who y'all think should be his first feud. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Road to 150K. I am still Yen Speed, the YouTube Wrestling Champion of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See you next time.